Yep, that's a cop on top of a car in a pursuit. Hey there, I'm Officer Blue Gun, and I've got a wild one for you today. The guy you saw car surfing right there like it was 2010, well that's Officer Patrick McCarty with the Carroll, Iowa Police Department. Way back on March 5th, 2021, Officer McCarty noticed a vehicle registered to a person who happened to have a warrant out of Illinois for forgery. The suspect, 29-year-old Dennis Geider Jr., had his girlfriend driving him around because that's what dirtbags do all the time. It's like seriously common among people with warrants to have their girlfriends drive them. I don't know why, but they're always in the passenger seat. Like if you see a 2003 Honda Civic being driven by a woman with a male in the passenger seat and they look kind of shady, he's got a warrant. Burgess and LeClark, King Henry Frank 765. <laughs> Officer McCarty puts out his traffic stop on the radio, then he exits his patrol vehicle and makes a tactically sound passenger side approach. To my surprise though, he tips his hand to the suspect and tells him that he has a warrant before he even has him step out of the vehicle. How's it going guys? Hey Dennis, hey, um, I hate to be the one to tell you this, but it sounds like you got a warrant out of Illinois. Okay, you got your ID on you? Sorry? Okay. Do you have anything on you? After initially responding to the name Dennis, suddenly Dennis claims that he's not Dennis anymore. D nice. Is there a D nice? Why don't you step out of the car until we can identify you? You got anything on your person, man? You got anything on you? Any weapons or anything like that? What's up? Awesome. Okay, go ahead and step out. Hello? Go ahead and step out, man. Yeah, reach. Unbuckle your seatbelt and step out of the vehicle. Yeah, what's up? Suddenly, not Dennis starts acting real hinky, putting his hands up after rolling up his window for no apparent reason. Police officers are trained to look for predictable movements and really don't like unpredicted movements. Like here, when the driver takes off her seatbelt. Or here, where not Dennis pushes his girlfriend out of the car. Stop the car, man! Stop the car! Stop the car! Stop the fucking car! Stop the fucking car! Stop the fucking car! Stop it! Stop the car! Stop the car! Get off the fuck! Oh, Officer McCarty's got himself into a terrible situation here. Most, if not all, use of force policies state that an officer cannot Stop create his own car, exigency, meaning that Stop an officer can't jump in front of a vehicle the and then shoot the driver because Stop the, the driver was about to run him Stop over the since the officer car. put himself in that position. Stop, Stop the car! Stop the car! Get off the fuck! Put on the goddamn brakes! Put on the fucking brakes! Put on the brakes! Stop the fucking car! Stop the fucking car, man! Jesus Christ! Stop the car, man! It was at this moment that he knew. He fucked up. Officer McCarty is about to fall off of the suspect's vehicle. I can't show you that because of YouTube policy, but if you want to see that on an uncensored video, head on over to my Rumble channel, link in the description below, and I'll post the original video in the description below. Carol 91, he is going north past the county shed to Iowa 30. I have 1050 in a ditch. I need medics to my location. I have Officer McCarty down. I'm okay, man. Go get him. I'm alright. Sure? Uh, you good? Go get him. 
To Officer McCarty's credit, he was not okay. He had a broken vertebrae in his lower back that took almost a full year to totally recover from, but he still wanted to get this dirtbag in custody. The suspect though, well, he later claimed that he only did what he did because as a black man, he was afraid of the scary white police officer. Hey Dennis, hey, um, I hate to be the one to tell you this, but it sounds like you got a warrant out of Illinois. Notice though, how the moment that Officer McCarty holstered his firearm, the suspect started driving faster, not slower, to let the officer off of the vehicle. He was also so afraid that he drove about a mile until his vehicle crapped out, so he stole another vehicle from someone else's garage, which he used to drive back to Chicago. He was captured three days later, and luckily the judge didn't buy his BS when he claimed that he was afraid. The judge stacked a five-year Iowa prison sentence on top of his Illinois sentence. Well, that's all I got for you today. If you enjoyed the video, make sure you hit that like button, and until next time, take care of yourselves.